Earlier this week, I made an update video on Friday the 13th, and I asked you guys to let me know if you wanted one on a nightmare on Elm Street down in the comments and by hitting the like button, and you guys completely delivered. Not only did you guys bring in a ton of new subscribers and also a ton of awesome comments, but I think you guys made it my most liked video of all time, so I just wanted to start this one out by saying thank you. The last time we saw Freddy Krueger not counting the one night only screening of the original movie a couple weeks ago, and of course the amazing cameo from Robert England on the Goldbergs last October was nine years ago when Jackie Earl Haley stepped up and played the role in the much maligned remake of the original film. You've probably done the quick math and realized that it's been about the same amount of time since we saw a new Friday the 13th movie, but the interesting thing here is that there's no legal battle tying Freddy Krueger up or anything like that. New Line Cinema can bring him back whenever they want, but the reason we haven't seen him isn't for lack of trying on their part. The most realistic report I could find was from Brad Miska over at Bloody Disgusting from August of 2015, which is like four years ago. Basically at that time, New Line Cinema was moving forward on yet another reboot of the franchise without Platinum Dunes this time, and they brought on the writer of The Conjuring 2, The Conjuring 3, and Aquaman. I think his name is David Leslie Jones. I wrote it down, but... I think that's right. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. I was real close. It's David Leslie Johnson. I script these out beforehand and memorize them, so that's the best I can do. Things kind of went dark after that, but since Johnson is the screenwriter on Aquaman, GameSpot thought to ask him during the press junket for that movie about A Nightmare on Elm Street, and he kind of confirmed what we were all fearing. New Line is officially putting Freddy on the back burner for now while they focus on expanding the Conjuring universe, which is cool, but inconsistent. Now, this is really disappointing because Freddy is a slasher icon who needs to come back. He's been gone almost a decade and he deserves some time in the sun or I guess moon because he kills you at night. New Line focusing on the Conjuring universe over A Nightmare on Elm Street though isn't surprising to me at all because even its worst reviewed movies like The Nun and Annabelle are immune to criticism. If you take a look at The Nun, it was made on a 20 million dollar budget, it got terrible reviews but it still managed to pull in about 250 million dollars. That's about the same as Halloween but it cost 10 million dollars more. That's insane when you take a look at how bad its reviews were. The real twist of the knife here is that Robert and England, while he was doing his press tour for the Goldbergs last October, said he would do one more Nightmare on Elm Street movie. He also said he's aware that they want to reboot it as a franchise so they can make like eight more movies and he can't commit to that, but wouldn't it be awesome if they brought him back for one more movie and had him pass on the torch to a newer actor, maybe a younger actor? I just think that would be awesome. Another thing you have to keep in mind here that makes this entire situation more confusing why they wouldn't want to bring Freddy back is that New Line also owns Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and on top of that, it kind of looks like they own Friday the 13th when and if that legal battle ever figures itself out. Now, this is all speculation, and I'm just telling you what I want to happen with these franchises. So we already know that James Wan is stepping away from The Conjuring 3, which really just, it burns me. I really want him to finish out that franchise, but he is working on writing and directing a sequel to Aquaman, which makes sense because that movie made so much money. But in the meantime, wouldn't it be awesome if he sort of planted the seed and got a universe together featuring Leatherface, Freddy, and Jay? Jason, I think that would be sick. Anyway, bringing things back to Earth here, it's pretty much guaranteed that we'll see Freddy Krueger in the future, we just don't know when. I would guess that if The Conjuring 3 turns out to be a not great movie, or even not as good as The Conjuring 2 or The Conjuring, and doesn't prove to be as immune to critics as The Nun was, we'll start hearing about Freddy, Leatherface, and maybe even Jason a whole lot sooner, because New Line is a company after all, and they want to make money. But now I want to hear from you, so let me know what you think of this Nightmare on Elm Street news down in the comments below, and also I was considering doing one of these videos on IT Chapter 2, so remember to hit the like button if you want to see that, and again, let me know if you want that down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already, and remember to check out my Patreon and my podcast Fear Frequency. All of that is down in the description. Anyway guys, my name is Jimmy Champagne, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.